So Wonky's just come in from the field and I'm going to give her a groom before we do anything else for today. So I'm going to start with picking her feet out, making sure there's no stones or anything untoward in her feet. Good girl. Ready? There's a good girl. Come here. Oh, come. There's a good girl. Good girl. Wonky is pretty relaxed. She's had a nice time in the field. I'm going to start our grooming session. I've picked her feet out and then I'm going to go all over her body with my hands and just check her, make sure she's not got any um, abrasions or any cuts, any bruises, any sore spots. I'm just going to go right over her body and just check her all over. It's not really a massage, it's just going through every part of her and making sure nothing is sore and that I don't miss any, any lumps or bumps. all over her. It's a really nice bonding exercise as much as a, a care exercise. I can feel she's got a little bit of mud between her front legs. I need to make sure I get out before we're done. And I'm going to go over her lumbar, down here. She'll tell me if I find a sore spot. She usually swings her head round just to tell me to be careful. Down the midline, you get often get a lot of fly bites down the midline, and I think she's got she's got a little bump under there where she's. I imagine it's just a fly bite. But I'll have a look properly when we get there with the brushes. Just going along the top of her butt.
feeling for any changes in temperature, any changes in tone of the muscles. Okay. Monkey's got some seriously big, strong muscles. Now, if you do this on your own horse, you want to be really careful going around the stifle because a lot of horses get quite sore around the stifle and they can kick you. And you want to have gentle but firm pressure so you're not tickling the horse or surprising the horse. A lot of hard working horses get quite sore between the back legs on these big muscles on the inside. So we check down there. Oh, she's got a little bump on her. Her hock. And my fingers down her legs, feeling for any hot spots. Any cold spots, any abrasions. There we go. Joints feel really good. Just feel the top of the tail. Feel if the tail is soft. If the horse is happy for me to lift the tail. If it, if it, I'll let it softly swing or whether it's tight. Do a few little circles, make sure it's nice. going to go and check the other side before we start grooming with brushes. Now I'm going to start to do this side. Let's start right up close to her ears. Check over the top of her head where my bridle is going to sit. I feel just behind her ears, down over her jaw. The way she's eating suggests she's quite happy with her jaw. A long neckline and then go a little bit further down and go along where the spine sits. Big neck muscles here. Big strong neck muscles. Gently, gently underneath near her windpipe. Make sure she's not got any sore spots in case she's had any choke or any obstruction there overnight but she's managed to clear but it's made her throat sore. Just check that again. Down over her pecs. What do I feel there? I think that's just a little bit of mud. Down her legs. Good girl. Good girl. a very steady firm touch because I don't want to tickle her. Good girl. 
very sensitive. Cook it. Making sure there's no more lumps other than that little, there's a little swelling under there. That's where she's been bitten by the flies. She is sore. I'm not in a position to get kicked. Feel these big muscles in her legs are huge. Down at that place. Feel these joints. They feel really good and hard. first brush I'm going to use is this really stiff dandy brush. This is to remove the mud. We wouldn't use this on her coat if she'd been clipped. So it's, it's quite a stiff brush. It gives a really good sound though, doesn't it? You wouldn't want me brushing your face with this one. This really is just a scrubbing brush to get rid of the worst of the mud. I'm going to take the mud off her knees and her fetlocks. Still being quite gentle because it's, it's a very scrubby, scrubby brush. There's large chunks of mud off. She's got a little bit under her belly, so I'm going to brush that. But now I'm going to check with my hand to make sure I've got it. No, not quite. Try again. I've got it this time. That's better. turn of my trusty dog grooming mitt. This I think is my favourite tool. You can see it. It's, uh, makes the most amazing uh, sound. It almost growls. Thank you. You want me to get on with it, huh? I think this must feel really good for them. It's just like so massagey. Starting with little circles up by her up by her skull. I'm just gonna start working my way along. Gently to begin with. Why oh, is a good girl? Although I love this tool, 
it does make them look really very dirty once you start using it. a little massage while I'm doing it into her shoulders. easy to get to do the legs. Now I'm going to go along the big back muscles. A girl's groove. Nice back massage for her as well. over the top of her pelvis. She gets quite greasy up here. Let's see where her hip bone sticks out, so I have to be really careful around that. Don't want to make her sore because you can just feel the bone there. these big butt muscles. <laughs> Gently round the stifle. The stifle is the horse's equivalent of our knee. So it's a place where when a horse does a lot of athletic activity, it can get really quite sore. So we have to be a little bit careful around that. it up because she doesn't grow much tail so I, I look after every strand of her tail like it's very very precious. Hey, you're waking up now. The next part of our grooming session is going to be with my fairly long bristled body brush. 
This is quite soft, but the bristles are quite stiff, but they're really soft. I don't know how they do that, but it works really well. And this removes some of the grease and the dust and skin cells from the coat. It's, a, it's really quite an intense cleaning experience. And then as I'm working with this body brush, I'm gonna be cleaning the brush with this, which looks pretty nasty, but we don't use this on the horse. We only use this to clean the brushes. And this is a metal curry comb. The teeth of the curry comb clean the body brush. And then we tap the curry comb on the floor to release the dirt out of the curry comb. in the back of this brush now I'm going to give the brush a preliminary clean. I'm going to start very gently just in the back of her back of her head up here. And this brush really helps to spread the natural oils through the coat. So it brings up the shine, as well as cleaning all the dead skin out. lean my weight into this brush so it goes deep through the hair into her skin strokes. You can really feel the skin and the fascia moving with the brush. enjoying it to stand still for this long I love looking at how 
even though she's a pretty ordinary brown bay colour. Her hair changes colour all over her. She's got a few dapples in her coat. She's got a really lovely shine. She's not got anything on her coat at the moment. In the way of gloss or anything. This is just her natural shine. So I will put some of her herbal sort of skin tonic spray. The Botanica 5-in-1 spray. I'll put that on her when I've finished. just to do even more to help the health of her skin. Always being really careful when I go between the back legs and around those big muscles. She can't tell me if she's sore in her muscles after she's worked hard other than by maybe threatening me with them, so always really careful to look for any signs that she's a little bit tender. This is Wonky's mane and tail brush. Now, I have been known to use this on my own hair as well. It feels incredible. And I think it sounds pretty good too. It's nothing particularly fancy, but it's just designed to not pull any of the hair out. It's really soft. It's sort of massaging as well. So. so I've just roughly pulled her mane back over onto the right hand side and then I'm just going to take little sections and brush them through. few days ago so it's quite silky. So now I've taken her plait out, I'm going to put some serum in her tail. This will help make it easier to brush through. 
without breaking any of the hairs. It strengthens the hair, it helps condition the hair. of serum on this tail. I'm going to separate it into sections and brush it through. likes having her tail done. denser brush, she's still really soft. And I'm going to just brush at the top of her tail to 
first section it push through at the roots just trying to stimulate the hair I think she really likes this she usually stands really still when I do this bit. Gently, slightly pulling at the hair. And then brushing down through it. Just provides a bit of stimulation for the, the hair follicles. you've enjoyed our relaxing grooming session. I hope it's left you in a really lovely peaceful place. I think Wonky and I have rather enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs>